Mrs. Weeks. And Mr. Leatherwood. <laughs> and we're continuing our week on division, and we are going to talk about dividing using partial quotients. We have done dividing using, or multiplying to divide, so now right. we're going to do division. Um, I do want to use the same example we used the other day, mm. so we can kind of compare them. So 345 divided by 15. We should know the answer, but we'll come back to that in a second. Okay. Um, so we want to break these down. The other day we broke down our 15, and today I want to break down my 345. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you what I mean. So for instance, partial quotient, I want to get maybe 300 divided by 15 this time. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so I'm breaking down the larger number. 300 divided by 15 is easy for me to do in mental math. It doesn't, you could pick other numbers, mm -hmm. that's just what I want to. Okay, so the other day we were at, or on the other video, we were adding up this to try to make our total 345, 345. This time, this column needs to add up to 345. Right. So for instance, I can see if I wanted to, doing 45 divided by 15, mm -hmm. which gets us three. So now my total here, 345, equals my total up here. So I've broken up 345 to make it simpler to divide by. That's right, and you still found your quotient and over I there. And I still, still found the quotient over here of 23. Perfect. Okay, let me pick another one and give you a chance to practice that. All right, let's get another one. What do you want to do? Mm, let's do a 434. Okay. Divided by? 12. 12. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. I don't know what it's going to be, but... Who knows? Who knows? That's okay. <laughs> um, so we can pick anything here. You mm -hmm. kind of want to think about multiples of 12. Right. Something that you can multiply together to get... or maybe divide evenly mm -hmm. with 12. Um, there's a bunch you can start with. I'm, I would actually start with like 240 That's or, or 120 mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so let, for instance, let's start with 240. And I believe that would be 20, 20. right? Okay. Um, if I did another 240, that's going to be too big. That's too big, yes. If I do 120, would that be okay? I think so. 120 divided by 12. That's another easy one for me because I can do 10 times 12 mm -hmm. equals 120. Okay, mm -hmm. so so far we're up to 360. 60. Yeah. Okay, so we're about, I don't know, how far almost, is away? Almost, yeah. Almost well, there. Yeah, we're almost there. Um, so... No. 24. Okay. Okay, 24. And you see how we're literally just picking this out of a hat. We're just mm -hmm. trying we're trying to get to this total to add up to this total. All right. And I'm picking things that divide evenly by, by 12. 12. Okay, we don't want any remainders at this point. We will and maybe And things at the that end. you know that would multiply, yeah, that, that you would know in your head. So mm -hmm. you're right. You knew that 12 times 2 is 24, so you knew mm -hmm. you could take that out of it. So and again, you can always kind of keep a running total over here if you want. So far, it looks like we have 384. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. So you can see I have a little farther to go. Yes. Um, can we fit another 12 in there? I think we can. Can we fit two 12s in there? I think we can do another 24, can't okay. we? Okay, let's see. This week's is checking it in her head. Yes, I doing. am. <laughs> so we get a two. So let's, if we, so we can just kind of add this here. Okay. If we want. Okay, so that's eight. Zero. So we're at 408. We're 408. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we have, you know, 20, two, 20 something to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do, well, let's, here, we'll do 12. 12 divided by 12, that equals one. one. Okay. And then, so our total's got going to be 420. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. So then we are exactly 14 away. Yes. So we know that we can do... We can do it to another 12. Yeah. And then it looks like we'll have a remainder. We are going to have a remainder mm -hmm. of how much? Oh, not much. Just two, right? Two. Okay. Yep. So where's our answer this time? Ooh, it's going to be over there. 
all right this jazz. Right there, all the way down. All yeah. this. Okay, so we're just going to add all those together. Mm -hmm. 20, 30, 32, 34, 35, 36. Mm -hmm. And then we said we had a remainder of two. two. How did we get, we didn't show that. How did we get our remainder of two? Well, you had your last 12. Okay. That we could have added in there, so, and so we, we were still short. Okay, so that gets us to 432. Uh-huh. And if we look at this, it's two away. Away from what our original dividend was, so we okay. have a remainder of two. So. All right. Really good if you, if you can do that mental math and you can figure out your multiples, this is an excellent way to do it and to break down that dividend and take apart pieces of it. So, mm -hmm. And then it's really easy then to add up your quotient over there along the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. So nice and simple for you. But again, you, you're going to have to be strong in that math and know what your multiples would be and keep a running total of what you're taking apart. Yeah. So, and remember, nice. you're, you're really looking for easy things. Right, exactly, exactly. So I wouldn't throw maybe 100 over here because 12 doesn't go into 100. Right, no, so. no, you need to look for the multiples that you would, you would be strong enough to be able to know that times 10, times 20, things like that. Mm -hmm. so. All right, practice some on your own. Yeah. Come to class with some questions if you have them. We'll see you soon. All right.